Hey guys, this is Coach. Um, I did some filming today. I'm going to put a little commentary behind it. Um, first of all, these two guys are, have only been training for two or three weeks. Um, Fernando right now is in front of me. I'm sitting down in the open guard. And uh, you'll see how uh, far these guys have come. If you've ever um, trained with white belts from scratch before, you know how hard it is. And uh, they're doing really well. We've had small classes and they've been super intense. Um, there is a sweep right there nice. that I do on Fernando. And look at Fernando's already oh, under my hips, beautiful. pummeling under, and he gets out. And now I've got Tim on top of me. Tim's putting down a lot of pressure, which is good. This is what I emphasize with beginners. No matter what, if you think you're gonna get swept, just don't waste time standing and running around your opponent. Make contact and see what happens and just work on your balance um, you have to you have to work you have to see where things are moving look how dirty my feet are that is that is amazing i did not know that um, here i am setting up uh, an elbow lock right here on tim so now tim is trying to pass fernando's guard fernando's making a good shell with his body he's got his Got his knees tight. They're going to come up, and they haven't had any training so far in what to do with standing. So it's kind of they're missing some opportunities here, and I end up just telling them to quit the position because they don't have the experience. Okay, now uh, I'm on top. I'm just trying to flatten and steer my opponent to the side so I can get to the mount. And um, yes, we worked on mount escapes this morning, so you'll see. Tim is super tight in doing the escape. He wasn't able to string it all together, so when the uh, knee and elbow escape is what he was trying to attempt, so I was able to flop over to side control. Okay, here's Fernando doing a good job. Um, I actually have, I have his uh, left wrist that I'm attacking right now that I'm about to attack. Oh no, this is a different this is a different part. I was actually that's coming up. Okay, so I have his leg. Um, he does a really good job here when I'm starting to attack the the leg for a knee bar. He has incredibly uh, strong soccer legs, number one. And um, I, I didn't have the leg that deep, but you can see he's grabbing my left leg and pulling it apart, which is which is a really good idea right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get out of that position. And Fernando is got, he's putting his weight down, he's passing the guard. And I, I go ahead and grab the elbow. I'm doing a modified Kimura as a shoulder lock, so. Tim's back on top. Again, really good weight from these guys. Um, it looks like Tim is trying to grab my neck here to set up a choke, but I use this to come over the top to get into a Von Fluke position. I know that it's not a deep choke. I know that it's not going to be a big threat. And now you'll see I cross my arm over to the cross face. If I, if I lean a little bit more with him that way, I can get the uh, counter choke there, but I just let it go. Now we have... Uh, Tim Good way to get in there. on top, fencing out the legs. Fernando's doing a really excellent job of staying tight when the opponent is starting to pass. And he's, he's trying to wrap over the top. It looks like, I think Fernando was trying to set up a triangle. I triangled him yesterday, and um, he was thinking about that, I believe. That's the fun part of jujitsu is uh, you go home that night after getting submitted in a certain position, thinking about how you're going to get the next guy with that same submission and how to avoid it. Okay, and uh, here I am on top. I'm connecting right away. I always, uh, I always tell my guys, like, you know, when you're rolling, you, you want to get connected to the other person, like, immediately, because... I see, especially beginners, they're not making contact, and 
you're going to lose a minute each round of not having contact in nice. a minute in a, if the round is five minute round you're losing 20 percent of the round times how many rounds times how many weeks it's not worth it just get in there no matter oh, yeah, what and, yeah. and work nice, nice. do don't Very waste time you need to work I on your you balance nice. you need to work on on the best. fundamental techniques I always want to stay, I always want to be com contact, in contact with my opponent with some hand or some leg or some limb. That way we are learning. A lot of times you can learn as much in one day from rolling, from feeling, if you're observant and if you're paying attention to where the weight is, you can learn as much as the techniques that are being taught by the instructor. There I have a, a Dars choke there. <laughs> Fernando is doing a really good job nice. to not fight the legs, but Go to, to fence stomach, the legs. Like You'll notice when he was coming stomach. around the side, he was just trying to keep the legs away from him as opposed to try to, to grab stomach, on, hold on to the legs. Go to your stomach. His legs are stronger than your arms, so you really want to keep your want to keep your efficiencies. Use use your legs and your arms and your body to get past the legs. And uh, this is a good position for Tim to escape because there's no underhook. Uh, Fernando did not have the underhook, so he could have gotten that underhook, but he's he's new to jujitsu, so. He wouldn't have seen that. I wouldn't have seen that for months when I started. Good overall pressure from the top. Uh, that was the wrist lock. Oh, I missed that. Okay. So you'll have to rewind that if you want to uh, pick that up. But I, I, I tapped out his right wrist on my, on my right shin. Or it might have been my left shin. No, I think it was... Anyhow, so this is a Kimura variation. I just I have control over his wrist and I'm driving my head gently into the back of his elbow. He doesn't understand the escape, so I just wanted to feel how his body should move to get rid of that pressure. And that was just a little Marcella teen at the end there. Thanks for watching the video. You can please make comments, subscribe to the channel, share, and um, we'll, I'll, I'll try to answer any questions that you have, if you have any. And I can always... Um, do another video uh, to address your question. And so I'm just uh, doing this channel to help, to encourage people to uh, train if they can. And hope you have a great day and improve your jujitsu just a little bit every day. Thanks for watching.